Welcome to this tutorial on trading futures on MEX. In this video, we'll walk through the basic steps for trading futures from understanding the basics to some pro tips and key indicators that will help you be better. Trader to start trading, you'll need a MEX account. You can use my affiliate link below. So the first thing you want to do, once you have an account is got at the top right corner, right there in the wallets and deposit, you can deposit any crypto you want practically, and you can select the network you want to use So say you want to deposit us and use the Tron network just select both of them click to generate the address and send the amount of us to t you want to trade now keep in mind futures trading involves leverage which is very risky so just use what you're willing to risk since you have some funds in your account we can go to the futures to bright there and you can see there is several options now 99 of the people are going to be trading usdm futures including ourselves then you have coin m futures which is kind of the same but they are settled in crypto not just us t you can use different currencies we also have co Pi trade, which is an amazing feature, and I could make a whole video on its own demo trading, which is pretty self-explanatory. You can simulate without real money, and sometimes it's a good place to start to trade. I mean, just do your first trade here, and we're going to go into us DM futures. Right there, first thing you want to notice here is your balance. You will probably not have anything. Don't worry. You have your funds in your spot account, so just click here, crypto transfer from your spot to your futures account. Just enter the amount you wish to transfer. In my case, Forexa and put 100 transfer and and that's it I have the hundred here there's several things that you need to understand and be familiar with in this interface the first thing that we want to understand is the pair that we're trading you can see in the top left corner we're currently in Bitcoin use DT perpetual and there is so many options here guys you can trade everything I mean it's insane the amount of options that they offer this case we're going to be doing Bitcoin but just keep in mind that this is the place to go if you want to select another pair now rig HT below, we can see the open positions, open orders, position history, order and trade history, capital flow and wallets. So this is a really important menu that you want to keep an eye on when you are trading and you have open positions, right? So when we open a position, we will have information here. You can also ch check your position history right there. For example, so here you can see the first trade is shown in the video. This was only with 8.35 cents a cent. So yeah, I mean, this is just an example of what a successful trade looks like, and you can do this with no insane amounts of crypto right there. Obviously, the biggest thing is the graph. You will probably have the original one selected, which we're going to be changing in a few moments. And here we have the order book. Here you can see the amount of orders for different prices, so you can check out the volume. Usually, I do not even look at the order book, to be honest. I look at the graph, but it's always nice to have the different orders and the amount of people that are trading in different volumes. So, and here we can see the most important menu where we can open and close our position. Positions. And right below, we can see isolated and 100x isolated is the margin mode where we can select from isolated and cross. I recommend you guys to start with isolated. It's a simpler way of trading. You only trade your position and you are not involved. Neng different positions instead in the cross margin mode. The margin will be shared among all your positions. So I highly encourage you guys to start off with isolated and just focus on one position to the right of the margin. Type we have the leverages. So this is the most important concept that you need to understand when trading. Futures leverage allows you to amplify your position in the market, but it also amplifies the risk. For example, 10x leverage means that for each dollar you have, you will be trading with $10. So this is what leverage means, and it's Joe. Staway to amplify your capital, and I'd also increase your risk. Make sure to start with low leverages. Don't just got throw in 1K with 200x leverage just following that 20K trade. All right, it's pretty crazy. To, to do that, if I are new to this, just start with low leverages and just work your way up slowly. And just with experience, you'll be able to get into higher leverages. Another concept that is very important, which we're going to be checking out in a few moments, is always having stop losses to prevent you guys from getting liquidated. You never want to get to a position where you're very close to getting liquidated without a stop loss. I mean, if you get liquidated, you lose your whole position. If you have a position worth $50 and you get to the liquidation price because you are using high leverage, you're going to be losing your whole position. Sousa stop losses. It's better to lose 20 bucks than to lose the whole. 50 right, right below the leverage and the margin type, we can see three different types of orders limit market and trigger the first one is limit. And it is really simple. I mean, if I, you want to buy at $62,000, just enter the price $62,000. And then enter the amount that, that you want to use of your balance. Now keep in mind this is using a percentage of your whole balance using this leverage. This means 
that with my balance, which is $100, we're going to be using 25L multiplied by 100X, which is effectively 20,400 rights, or you can guide yourself with this percentage right there. This is off your whole balances. So this would be $50 in my case, multiplied by 100 by 4,800. It's a little bit less because of the fees. All right, just keep that in mind. So say that when we get to $62,000, I want to open a short, which means that I think the price is going to decrease and I want to automate this with a limit position. This is the way to do. So just click on open short and you can see that my order is created at the 62,000 lev. L no phi, you can move the order around if I you think that you should be opening a short higher. You can move your limit order freely to wherever you want. That's how you open a limit position. You can also do it for buying. If you think that when we get to 61,400 Bitcoin is going to go back up again, you can set a limit order and just leave it be. And when we get to this level, your order is going to be executed. The next type of position is market, which means that you're going to buy at the best market prices right now. It would be 61,771. And that's the price you where you're going to be opening your position. And lastly, we can do trigger, which is similar to limit. We're going to be opening example position right here with every small amount just to show you how it works. So again, we're using 100 leverages. So say I want to do $100 now. Now we have two options, long or short. As I mentioned before, if you think the price is going to goop, you open a long position. If you think the price is going down, you open a short. So in this case, for the sake of the example, we're going to be doing a short right. So just click on open short and R. Right now we can see down here in open positions, our position, you can see the margin ratio, the estimated liquidation price, which is something, as I mentioned before, we always want to avoid in the unrealized profit and loss. There's also more options like the auto margin addition, the market close all the take profit and stop loss. So now we're going to be selling the stop loss and the take profit. So just click on add right here. Andy, you can select the price that you want for both taking profit or stopping loss. So say I want to set a stop loss at 61 or 62,000, so stop loss at 62,000. This is obviously my stop loss because we're short. Remember, I think the price is going down, and right now if the price goes up, I'm actually losing money. So say I want to take profit at 61,000, 30% profit. Pretty good to be honest. Doll right, so the stop loss is very close to the actual price, so we have to increase it a little bit just to 6,200 for example. All right, so here we have the stop loss and the take profit. You can see C right there. I can even move the take profit and the stop loss to wherever I want. Okay, so this is how you do it really simple. I highly encourage you guys to set a stop loss. Now, I want to goover some common mistakes that you guys have to avoid at all costs. First, over leveraging, start, start using low leverages, and then work your way up. Second, mistakes not using stop losses. Sometimes the volatility is crazy and you are liquidated without even knowing, so stop loss is the best way to avoid this. The third mistake C is emotional trading. Do not trade based on fear or greed. Stick to your strategy and your trading plan. And the last mistake is ignoring the fees. Keep in mind, fees are going to chip into your profits. So don't be opening and closing positions for $1 to profit. That's when fees are going to start getting right. So if you are $100 up, maybe the fee is $5. And just keep in mind that they are going to better and they're going to take a little bit of your profits. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys some indicators that you can use when trading future. Sand, they will definitely help you make better informed trading decisions. So first thing I like to do is swapping from original to trading view. I prefer us in trading view and just customize my own graph than using the original one in Mexi. It's not bad, but I prefer seeing my own salts going to full screen here. And let's get into the first indicator, which is the moving averages. So to add an indicator, just go here to the FF tab and just enter what you wish in our case, moving average. All right, so this is the first indicator that you want to get familiar familiar with. Where? E going to did a trite hair in these settings. We're going to change some things. First, the input I prefer doing 50 days for the moving average. And then I like changing the style. I like a little bit more thickness and changing the colors. So this is a better way to use the moving average in my opinion. And right now we're seeing the first example that we can learn from right now. The price is below the moving average. We actually just broke through the moving average and this usually means that there is a downtrend. All right, this is what it usually means when you, you are above the moving average, you are in an uptrend. And when you are below the moving average, you are obviously in a downtrend. Now you can use different lengths for the moving averages. Some people use 200, some people use 50, some people use 10. And they all have their specific use cases. So it depends on the time frame that you're trading and your different goals. All right, so just keep in mind that you can adjust the moving average for your time frame and you have to learn to read it. Tis not always the same. 
you should not be just shorting because we're below the moving average. Maybe we're close to breaking a resistance and you have to know about this. All right, the next indicator we're going to be adding is the relative strength index. The RSI ranges from 70 down to 30. And when we're above 70, means that we're overbought when we're below 30. It means that we're oversold. This is an indicator that you show. Debusing with different indicators to get the best results. It doesn't mean that when you're over 70, you should always be just shorting all right. In this case, it is. this is actually correct, but it is not something that you should always be doing. It measures the strength off the current trend. Trend all right, so you can see that we're getting close to the oversold area, right? There, which is nice to see and to know all right. So just keep in mind, this is an extra way of predicting when our reversal might be near. Next, we're going to be checking out Bollinger Bands, so just go again. He Rian search for Bollinger Bands. All right, this one seems a little crazy, but it is not that difficult to read it as similar to the RSI, so when the price touches the upper band, we might be overbought, and when the price touches the lower band, we might be oversold. In this case, it was correct, so if you went long right, there is the price went below the lower band, you would have a nice position. Imagine you went long here, you would have a 1%. Increase almost in futures, which is more than enough. The next indicator we can use is the volume, so gentle volume right there. And down here, we can see the indicator, so we can just make it a bit smaller volume is crucial to confirming trend shy volume validates a strong price movement, while low volume could signal a weakening trend in futures trading always check volume to confirm. If it is moving in your favor, it's important to rally on more than one indicator, but don't just fill your trading view with an insane amount of indicators, all right? I mean, sometimes it's even more about understanding the price action and support and resistance levels than just the RSI or the volume or the moving average. All right, now that's a wrap for this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I explained myself and I was pretty clear. If there's anything that you want me to go more in depth about, just make sure to leave a calm comment below and I'll check it out. Remember, future trading can be risky, so make sure to always just deposit what you're willing to risk and use as top losses, always use as top losses. I have repeated myself a hundred times. B, to will do tense again, set your stop loss. And lastly, if you're new, you might want to start trading with your demo account and just mess around to see if you are understanding everything correctly. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you didn't, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next ones. That's, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you in the next one.